And for a whole year, you gotta hold that. I'm the best on the island. Bingo. Bingo. And now Final match right here for Lentini and Rod for this first half of top eight. It is Ling. It is Sabayi here for the final game here for this half. Very excited to see how this shakes out. This is a matchup that I know the Peach players find very frustrating. You know, we were talking about it earlier. Game & Watch excels at that get off me game. Mm -hmm. He wants you to try to come to him so that he can push you right back out with a little bit of extra damage for your trouble. Meanwhile, Peach, her whole game plan revolves around getting in. That's right, and getting in and most importantly staying in, but knowing those gaps in between and when it's your time to swing, I think is the biggest thing right now here in this matchup. I think, again, you know that you have a very quick jab for Game Watch. You know you have that Nair, and it's very safe on shield, even if he shields it. But is it still safe enough, though? Sabaye off to a pretty solid start, keeping pace. However, Ling has been slowly catching the first, what, 60 70% was all on Sabaye's side. And all of a sudden, you're in the corner on the verge of dying. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh oh. Yeah, don't touch me. The immediate up B out of shield. Trying to keep this match airtight. I feel bad for Ling. Having to play all reflector characters Man. in top eight, that's a rough draw. It is definitely a tough life you live, for sure. Especially just to be like one of the few peaches, really, at least in America, maybe one of the last peaches doing it at this level. And then to have to, you know, kind of carry that on your back while you're also trying to compete at first attack is, is, a, is a very daunting thing to do. But Link's making it look very easy. There's Ooh. the forward air, forcing the directional air dodge in with the down smash. Smart stuff right there on Sabi. You know, going to have a down smash that covers both sides. Yeah, the coverage was so good there. You were talking about reading that directional air dodge, right? It doesn't matter if you go down, if you go neutral, you go to the left. I'm covering all of it. That's right. I'm on you, bro. Where, where are we going? Okay. Ooh. Looking oh. good right now, chasing him down here. Now, Kor's going to have to get himself out of harm as well. You're going to see uh, Sabai go for that quite a bit, especially once Ling has broken that zone. Knowing when it's time to jump versus when it's time to just hold shit, I think it's going to be huge versus Ling here. Man, all this because Ling just wasn't quite airtight on what could have been a devastating combo. But Sabaye, because that up special break get off me tool is so powerful, so safe. That being the key factor, you get to just mash that, and if they mess up, okay, it's my turn. Mm -hmm. Okay, back here in the corner. Forcing them out of their comfort zone. This is not a position that Game of Watch wants to be in. Now, you do, of course, have up beyond the shield to alleviate pressure, but if I read that and you jump first, Peach is there to meet you air to air every time. Right, we got the dot eyes as well. Not working out too well. And ooh, the patience, the spacing from Ling doesn't overextend against the up smash and manages to just outspace the down smash. And you can already see it's affecting Sabaye, not going on to follow-ups after that up smash because it's not working. Mm -hmm. Adjusting on the fly, man. It's a beautiful thing to see. The adaptation is real, my goodness, but the damage output is that much more real. Great stuff right here to Link. Whoa, turn up in the fair. Ooh, 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 Dash gets just past him. Not able to find it. Turtle time coming out here. We're back to helping the environment. Let's see if that's going to be enough as Ling starts to walk away with this first game. Okay, caught in the corner. Fighting his way out of the deficit. Try to give him the seat because they were probably anticipating a float cancel something. Was trying to maybe meet it heads on, but a little bit mispositioned. Dash attack right there. Covering that space right to the back air. Spot gone without a trace. It's looking good. Ooh, that grab off the Nair. I can't believe Link found that. Just the precision of this Peach is blowing me away right now. It's so hard to find these little spacings to deal with a character who is known for safety above all else. Yeah, both of these two characters, they know how to alleviate pressure. I mean, you used to see these characters in doubles and how long they can just live, but this is singles, a much different gameplay, much different damage output as well, too. That's something I think a lot of people forget about. Yes. The damage that you output is different in doubles than it is in singles and other formats. So great stuff right here to Ling. Looking good. Don't want to take anything away from Sabai because, of course, still played very well and has a lot of time to figure this matchup out. And now we run it back, right? I don't think there's any reason to change characters here. Clearly on the main already and in a good matchup. We run it back. It's all about adaptation here. You need to figure out how do I deal with how well Ling is spacing around my level one pressure game. Mm-hmm. Again, and how you alleviate that, too. No, I mean, knowing like when it's time to answer back on the pressure than when it's time to just get the heck out of the way, it's right. such a huge thing to deal with. But Ooh, I'd almost yeah. argue that should be a part of like Game & Watch's repertoire. I mean, there are characters that can get out of the way. Then there's characters like Game & Watch. Like, when I'm out the way, you will never hear from me ever again. I'm up being and I'm gone. 
breaking through those turnups very well. We see Sabaye not just using that reflector, sometimes spacing with back airs instead because you don't want to be predictable. You don't want to give Ling an opportunity to zone break. No, absolutely not. You definitely want to try to keep it funky fresh for sure. And <laughs> I think they're doing just that now. With that being said, despite the deficit, we know that Game of Watch and one failed swoop can definitely clear the board. We've seen it most importantly in that last game where you went for forward air to try to bait the air dodge in from the ledge because you know the luxury that Peach does have. She does have that luxury of pressing buttons on the way down. But if I beat you with my forward air first and you air dodge, guess what? I'm going to hit you with on the way back down to the ground. Down smash. Yeah, absolutely. One of the, the quirkiest but most powerful anti-airs in the game. Hit him with the down smash. Boom. And of course, you're playing a floaty character in Peach. She's got those float mix-ups, but at the end of the day, it's going to take her a while to get to the ground. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she does take a considerable amount of time. And in Game of Watch, I mean, you allow a character this intricate and this devastating to start to think. That's when things get real scary for the other side. However, it is the Ling show. 122% and showing no signs of slowing down. There's back here. Very safe on shield, but not safe enough. Smart right there on the stylized aggression from Sabahi just to run up, make it seem like he was going to press a button and just hold shield. That was a risky scenario. You burn that entire float up there. That means that Tabaye is going to know exactly when you land and sure enough, was able to get an extension off of it. However, not the kill and we give opportunity. But as soon as I say that, the keys to success unlock the door and we're down to even stuff. That's right, man. I mean, again, we're just not knocking on any open doors these days. I see the opportunity and I'm coming through in a major way. Both sides doing just that. Gonna go for the up throw right there. Frame seven on the nair. Nothing too out of the ordinary. Of course, you're not gonna be able to get as many nairs as you beautifully brought up earlier when uh, when um, Sabae was playing. Depending on the character, will determine how we're gonna have to adjust some of our strings. Now on Peach, you might be able to get one nair, maybe two, but it's best to maybe dial it back a little bit. Right, instead you're playing that juggle game, right? What you were talking about. Yep, yep. No doubt about it. Speaking of, okay, yeah, the circus is definitely in town right now. Yeah, we got everything. You got, if he had a kitchen sink, he'd be throwing that too right now. Don't give Game Watch any <laughs> ideas, okay? <laughs> There's the fourth though right there coming through from Toad. Big shout out. Okay, another Nair. Frame seven up underneath this time. Kind of taking these platforms away. Maybe realizing the route. And most importantly, oh, how to take them away. The Ling. I said, I got some hell to bring right here. Great stuff. Man, yeah, get off me. Rinse and repeat. Dropping bombs on him, evening up the stocks. Sabaye is keeping this so close, but both stocks has been the second to fall. Can Ling keep this momentum? Or is Sabaye now getting that advantage finally? Well, let's see how it all shakes out. Both sides, of course, keeping the air tight, neck and neck here. But it looks like it is Sabaye that's starting to figure some things out. Oh, the spot dodge on the down smash. You are a crazy man, Mr. Ling. That's what I was talking about, right? The spacings, those timings, so good to get around those funky fresh options that this character has. Now taking the platforms away from Ling, force him into an awkward position, bring in the hammers, airframe five, get out of here. Whoa, no, I'm still there. Yeah, we, we chilling. Two, I, I, can't we even come back? Well, now we can. Saved his life. No, oh, oh are you wait. kidding me? The booty was too strong. Oh, you better drag down. You better, you better stop. You better stop playing with me. The chicanery on display right now. The sheer levels of skullduggery in this last set. This is crazy. Jeez, they're coming through with the key. He said, it's done. It's done. Put a point on the board for myself. But I tell you what, friends, that is how you push your character to the absolute limit. That's how you use every resource your character has. Yeah, we playing Brawlhalla out here. We most definitely <laughs> are. Both sides getting their bands and stuff together, and for good reason. I think these stages matter so much more in top eight. Every oh, little yeah. thing matters but definitely in top eight. You gotta take a deep breath, right? We've been here before. It's so easy to get a little bit too excited after a game ends, whether you're on the winning side or losing side. You wanna run it back real quick. This time we're actually changing the venue. We're going to town and city. Town and city, longest or biggest ceiling in the game. Could you the longest ceiling in the game? That'd be crazy. Biggest ceiling in the game uh, in terms of the competitive stages. Curious to see how that's going to play into effect with both of these two characters. Neither side really looking for KOs off the top. But every so often, you'll see a, a Game & Watch up smash. Now, I don't know if that's going to happen in the matchup versus Peach, but it is in the right. back of Ling's mind. Yeah, I mean, we saw those attempts of, of the up smash coming out in the first game, and Ling immediately was playing around it super well. I think partially because of the fear of the down smash, just staying entirely out of that range. And there you go, right away. Just does not work out, okay? Go for that frame seven there again, just to rinse and repeat the safe stuff, especially knowing that Lingen wants to land on that, that platform. I think that's the biggest difference maker between 
uh, the last two games was that, again, Ling was able to kind of recover for free back onto these platforms, and Sabayi said, look, if nothing else, I got to at least put an active hitbox in that generalized area. They don't have to connect, but I at least have to make my presence known. We just saw another great example, you know, making that presence known. Sabaye throwing out the down smash. Ling getting there with the presence on their side, but not over committing, not getting clipped by that approach. Ooh, in the air dodge. Oh my God, that air dodge. I mean, it gives and it most certainly takes some days. There's that up smash I was talking about. And off the mark indeed. Now I do like the position, but it was just a little mistimed on that. Ling was able to sneak behind and go for the back here. Down tilt, frame five near, hold up. You better get, you better stop whiffing grabs versus me. We saw two smash attacks in a row at the ledge and then with that up smash you were talking about where if there was just a tiny bit of charge on it or it was slightly later, it would have connected. But because it wasn't, Ling recognized that default timing and punished it. Mm -hmm. That timing is everything in a matchup like this. And there's that forward air. i like to see more of that come through. Forward air, of course, that's a strong option in Game of Watch's toolkit. Um, of course, it's good for putting on damage. It's good for if you just want to alleviate pressure. I believe the, the forwarder and the projectile itself is what makes it minus three. I think Game & Watch experts, feel free to look back on this and, and correct me, but it's very safe on shield. I uh, you know what else is safe right now. That is Ling's stock lead. Mm -hmm. 132 on this stock, could lose it at any time, but you're still on three to one right now. It's going to be very hard, but that's a great start for Sabaye. It most definitely is. Again, all it takes is just that spark right there. Like Bruce Springsteen said, man, you can't start that far without a spark. And I think Sabi definitely trying to bring it here in a major way. Dash attack. Okay, doesn't get anything off, but has positional advantage, which is more important than anything else. Ooh. Ooh, trying to catch with that Nair. Again, Sabaye's game plan revolves around forcing Ling to come in, and I think Ling has recognized that and just doesn't oh. approach. Yeah, it does not, unfortunately. Okay, we're priming the hammer. Standing jab. Okay, looking for some, some simple stuff. Gets the hammer, but doesn't quite get the berry that time. And you know what? That's actually okay. I don't know if F-Smash would have been enough to get the job done. I, I think if you hammer now, yeah. you, might, you, might be swinging, you might be swinging for the fences here. And I don't think the expectation was to get the hammer, like the berry, right? You're using it as an anti-air tool against the approaching Peach. And it did a good job of that, of sending back to the corner. Mm -hmm. Again? Damn. How do you space around that up smash I just so don't, well? I just don't get it. He's just not human. I, I do not understand. Ling is built different. I mean, just when you think you got his number, it's him that's calling you. That's yours, bro. <laughs> They're out of shield. You're still putting it into the phone. You get, a, you get it right back at you. Oh, God. Ling, yeah. man. Wow. Ling is just not of this earth. The reactionary time you have to have in order to go up against a game and watch of this caliber, I think, just speaks so highly of, of Ling's gameplay. Because, again, Sabi is no slouch. This character, this player is so strong. Game & Watch can be kind of a problem at times for most characters, but Ling is making it look so easy. I feel like the big place for Sabaye is struggling is getting those kills. That is something that Game & Watch can struggle with, especially if you're good at playing around his options. And sure enough, he racks up that damage very quickly with those Nair strings, with those up air strings, the juggles. But as soon as it gets to the point of, now I need to get that killing blow, the smash attacks are just not connected. No, they're not. And I feel like they're just swinging inaccurately right now. We have to dig deep. We got to get our mindset back into the right swing of things because, you know, if you can get one, you can get another one. Absolutely. Here we go. Potential final game right here for Sabaye, though. Ling looking good up two games, but I don't want to call it just yet. This could be a comeback, no, brother. No, definitely not. Sabaye needs two in a row here. Ling only needs one. There is a clear advantage, but an advantage does not a winner make, and you know Sabaye wants this badly. No doubt. No dash attack. Okay, dash. Okay, there it is that time. Trying to break that zone again. That follow away fair. So safe on shield, so strong. It looks like he's using that dash attack to maybe cover themselves just a little bit. Ooh, okay, there's a throw. Nice. Okay, get that early juggle started. Goes for the up B for guaranteed damage. Manages to get an up air as well on the landing. And now Ling evening up the percentages. But again, that's not what matters. It's whether or not we can connect with those smash attacks, the win condition. Mm hmm. Especially on a character like Game & Watch, too. I mean, you're nothing without your Smash Dash. I mean, you do have a strong off-stage presence, but in a matchup versus Peach, she's not. She's never not swinging. Okay, she's swinging with her Smash Attack. She's swinging with that forward air. Ooh, she's swinging with so much. That was a great time for that dot eyes. Oh! oh, and there you go. Okay. Looking good right here from Link, but not out of the woods just yet. Sabaye 
still looking strong. Can figure this thing out. And I love that. It looks like it shifted the hurt box ever so slightly. But we see a little lack of confidence there from Ling, right? Does not overextend on that combo going for the deep one. And I think that's because, you know, I'm already up. I'm winning neutral. And the last time I went for that combo, I actually whiffed and lost a stock for it. Yeah, seriously. Maybe some of those times where I think the analysis paralysis starts to come through. We're like, you know what you want to do, but maybe you just kind of freeze up in the moment. I'll tell you who ain't freezing, though, and that is Asabayi. Ice in his veins, if you will. Yeah, you're going to need a little bit more than that. You were talking about that spark before. He's going to need to ignite it. My man needs fire in his veins if he wants to make it into loser's semis the way Ling is playing right now. Oh, my God. Ling right here bringing the pain and bringing the booty right there. That back here proving to be just too much. And don't feel bad, Game of Watch. It's too much for most of the characters in this game. <laughs> yeah, for real. Okay, down tilt. There's the Nair. Frame seven. Give me that up air. That was a crucial trade for Link. Ooh. Able to keep him from getting the full setup. However, Sabaye fights it back anyway. Able to set up the bacon. Gets him to go high to extend and manages to get some damage. But, I mean, Link gets back to the center stage doing pretty oh! well. Oh! Wait well. a minute. Center stage, though, actually belongs to Sabaye. This is the closest the match has been since the very, very start of this. Can Sabayi force this into a game number five? Oh, he wants it. He wants it, you can tell, man. Up air, nothing off the grab though. Frame seven there, there's the up air again. You Come got, here. Got the win condition once. You're about to set up for it again because Ling cannot land. No. Oh, hammer time. I like that. The up B. This is spiraling out of control right now. It is. Don't jump. I love that. Saba, you just threatening that space above the platform. I know you want to jump on that platform. I'm not giving it to you. You're not going to get it for free. Yeah, hit him with a turnip. Just that little bit of pressure. Make it annoying for Game & Watch. He doesn't have the distance to really fight back against that outside of his reflector. <laughs> yeah, he has to respect it wholeheartedly. There's the Nair. We're going to start to see a lot of these Nairs come out. Is that going to be enough off the top? Sabaye yeah. Pushing it to a game number five. Let's get it. I heard the eruption from the crowd off of that one. Clearly a fan favorite in this matchup, but let's see if it's going to be enough. Can that wind at his back push him through in this final one more chance to make it on? Okay. Let's see how this all unfolds. Both sides dialing it in. They want to approach this calm, cool, and collected. Either way, yeah. I'll tell you what, it's been an amazing set. No, it most certainly has, and for good reason. I think, again, we don't get to see a lot of these characters very often. Uh, Peach, especially played at this caliber of play. And, of course, Game & Watch, as strange enough as it is for me to say, I actually missed this character. Oh, yeah. So we, don't, we don't get to see as much All Game right, & Watch anymore. All right, somebody clip that. Clip it. <laughs> I said it. I'm standing on that. I'm standing on it the way Goku is standing on Nappa's head. I'm standing on it. Six months from now, when we have, like, an all-Game & Watch top four in a major. Send that to Rod. Just make him remember. Just tag me in. I'll jump on the mic for it. <laughs> hey, listen, man. I, was, I did pound the one year where there was all snakes. It was Pelka and, and MVD and all sorts of snakes in that bracket, man. So, yeah, Snake had his era in Smash Ultimate. That's Still strong, saying, of man. I did, a, I did a Big House 6 one year that was like three three clouds in a Sonic or three Sonics in a cloud for double. So, I mean, we're kind of seeing that kind of thing right now, right? It's old meta versus new meta. The Peach, the tried and true. She still got it, but does she have what it takes to take it over the new, the anti-meta character of Game & Watch? Uh-huh, it's a real question. We're gonna see what the answer is gonna be right now. As it stands here, Sabaye looking really strong in his corner, knowing when the Ling is gonna jump, knowing when they're gonna try to drift in, most importantly. Made him hold all that damage. Man, we got an applause from the crowd for that one. <laughs> okay, up air, not quite. Oh my God, you better, okay, nice. And that time, understand that there is two hits on Peach's dash attack. That was oh! something I think Sabaye struggled with, but he ain't struggling with up smashes. That's for sure. It finally connected. When he needs it most in game five, Sabaye finds a way to mix up Ling, get that up smash on the landing. We're back to level one game plan. We now Ling has to adapt, turn it back around like we did before. Uh-huh. Okay, Ling on the response right here. And we've seen a little bit of this mentality come out before when they were playing. You're kind of being reactive and not proactive in this matchup. Right, you, right. Oh, okay, you got you got Sabaye in the corner. But you have to figure out a way to capitalize on this. That's such a daunting thing to do versus Game Watch, especially when they have the lead, because they start to play the out-of-shield game. And Ling trying to figure out in some of these situations, 
Do I dash dance back and pull out that turn up? Or do I go for that raw up smash like we just saw? And that analysis paralysis you were talking about is costing Ling dearly as Sabaye goes up three stocks to one. It's costing Ling every dang thing. It is so unfortunate to see how this is playing now, but there's still light at the end of the, at the end of this tunnel. Excuse me, it's just very, very dim. And there again. Nice. Okay, get out of here. That is something that Link has been doing such a phenomenal job of throughout the course of this whole set. Really, this top eight is that when I get you caught off stage, when you think you got me, I actually got you. Yeah, those reversals have been crazy. All through this set, all through the top eight, like you said. But now we have to talk about that on stage. Ling needs to find and commit to one of those big, big combos. Mm -hmm. We need to see it, and we need to see it fast. I need him to be quick and not slick about it. This is the execution test. Do you have what it takes? Game five. Not can you do turn up combos in training mode. Everybody can do turn up combos in training mode. That's very true. My, my grandma, she can do them. <laughs> yeah. She can do them. I've seen her do it. I need it done right here. Top eight. First attack in Puerto Rico. I need it done, and I need it done today. There's the back air. I mean, you're over 100%. You tried this it. Is great timing there from Ling. Mm -hmm. But you have that little bit of a disjoint on the dash attack, so you get to play that risky game. Oh, oh, hammer time, but we're still in it, though, ready to win it. We ain't done just yet, but Sabaye had something to say about it. The offstage presence has proven to be too much for Ling. Sabaye moving on to the next portion of bracket here at first attack. We talked so much through that entire set about how good Ling's offstage game plan was, the reversals. So what better way for it to end than for Sabaye to bring it back around and do it himself? That's right. Let's go and take a peek at these replays and relive the magic between these two juggernauts. There is that up smash. We were kind of worried about when they were going to find openings for that, but was able to dig deep. And it uh, looks like he dug uh, Ling into the ground a little deeper right there. All those smash attacks just connecting this game. Yeah, I think that's the difference maker is that the earlier matches he was swinging for the fence and missing. This time he allowed himself to get that early lead, which will force Ling out of that corner and having to approach a little bit more aggressively and find those opportunities for whiff punishes, mm. smash attack, boom, done. Man, I feel like I need to take a break after that one. Ooh. I need a deep breath. I need some water. You know what? Cheers, brother. Cheers. Because it's been an absolute journey right here between the both of us. And I believe this is where our journey together actually ends. Indeed. Okay, let's go ahead and pay. Do we do, we do the ads production you want us to talk over, or is it just a video? I'll gotcha. Okay. Well, I tell